Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and we're gonna do a little shop update. We've been having a lot of people asking what's going on with the upstairs with the, the addition that we put on. Uh, this summer has been very crazy and we've been doing small projects uh, throughout the summer, but we didn't really film a lot of it just because it was you know, being done in between everything else. So we figured we'd uh, show you kind of what's going on, uh, what we have planned, and then we're gonna get the new office started or built in this video as well at least roughed in we'll say so number one uh mike connected the wiring my dad took the time to do the the, the hard work we'll, we'll give my dad props on that yes. but my dad did the hard work of like running all the wiring all over the building setting the outlets up he was here for like my dad comes like two days a week he was here for like weeks doing that or two two weeks maybe doing all the outlets and stuff and pulling the wire um, i helped him a little bit but he did most of it himself Mike went and did kind of the, uh, the scary stuff and added, uh, well, we added two new boxes. So yes, we, we added a bigger one downstairs because we were 100% out of room. Yeah, so we, he put a bigger one downstairs and then we put uh, a smaller one upstairs, which is hidden way back in that corner back there. Um, he just flicked the power on and we have power in the shop is uh, nothing sparking or making noise. So. We have power. Also, my dad went ahead and installed a uh, air line kit from Eastwood with their hose reels. So not only did we get the the uh, electric reels from Eastwood, which are pretty kick-ass. These things are like, they're super quiet. They're not like the click, 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 click. And they also don't take your hand off when you let go. Like some <laughs> ones have the spring that's real crazy. So my dad went and added air lines and plumbed it up in the ceiling and uh, added hose reels and there's one on either side uh, and that comes from downstairs from the Eastwood QST compressor that we added a extra tank for extra capacity, two extra tanks. So now we have 90 gallons of air so we can pretty much run whatever we need. Um, my dad added a drop over here. We have an old um, an old style like gas station air pump thing, the one that like ding as you air your tires. So uh, once we get that restored, we're gonna hang that somewhere over in here and then you, know, you can air your tires up, uh, which will be pretty cool. What else? Uh, oh yeah, I went and I went to Southern Maryland, or I don't know Southern Maryland. I went to Maryland and got all this tin from an old barn that was being uh, salvaged, and we're going to actually be using that for the walls in the shop. So I want this when it's all set and done, when we're finally done. I want it to kind of look like a bank barn inside when it's done, so it'll look like an old barn or chicken shack or something like that. Even though we know it's all new. Um, so we got that. I just got two by fours and insulation all delivered. So we can insulate the walls uh, over here. There's all that mess. And that's why the shop's kind of a mess with all the parts and stuff laying around. So we had to pull some of the cabinets out. Because you preemptively filled all the cabinets yeah, tight against the wall. No, well, you can't. I got excited. I couldn't do anything. <laughs> that's what you do when you run out of money and time. You just do like little odds and ends. So anyways, we... Um, we got all that insulation here. That's gonna be like the next project is getting the walls and stuff up. But what we're gonna do in this video on top of the other stuff we talked about is, I won, there was an auction at the, the Boyertown Auto Museum is literally like, Antique Auto Museum is like blocks from here. They had an auction cleaning out their storage and um, we won, there were, there, a bank used to store in there and there was a bunch of stuff that went really cheap. So I think it was like, I don't know, $50, $20, I can't remember. I spent like $125 for the whole day of stuff I bought. And I bought basically a bunch of these cubicle things that have windows in them and they're kind of like faux wood. Um, we're gonna be using a lot of this to make like the office um, structure, if you will, and it'll look like kind of like glass window office. I want it in the end to look almost like a service station type office where it'd be mostly glass windows. Um, we have a bunch more of them. Don't mind the awesome engine that's sitting here. Yeah, baby. Uh, so yeah, yeah, we got the panels here and there's a bunch back there. I know it's a little hard to see because we didn't hang the lights. We literally just turned the power on minutes ago. And Steve so, modified the lights, so they should yeah. be up by the end of this video. Oh yeah, yeah, Steve took all the lights and uh, pulled the ballast out. He watched an Iron Trap Garage video and learned how to, uh, <laughs> mic shot, and learned how to take the ballast out and set them up for LEDs. So we're gonna hang them too, but we're gonna be using those and then we have a bunch of basically a ton of old, of not old, new wood that came from the West Virginia state that the gentleman was using to hang all that sheet metal. We had to take that wood down to get to some of the sheet metal. So we took a lot of it with us so that it didn't get junked. And then I had a bunch of wood that was left over from them building this building. So I think I have enough lumber that we could basically build this 
um, office for almost free, so to speak. Uh, just some labor, you know, screws, stuff like that. I found I bought myself a table saw instead of borrowing all my friends' uh, tools. Adulting. So I'm, I'm now becoming an adult. Oh, and... where's the office going? Let's show them. Oh yeah, so we decided to put the office, it was actually my dad's idea. We decided to put the office right here when you walk in. So there's this little center area. We're gonna make it basically as wide as in between the garage doors. And then we're gonna come out, I, I forget where, roughly to, you know, somewhere in here. Um, and we'll have a big enough office so I can keep my desk in there and, you know, put some bookcases with a shit ton of magazines. <laughs> I can smell it already. Yeah, it's gonna smell old and awesome. But, uh, so yeah, that's where we're gonna put it. Um, I kind of have a cockamamie scheme to put this all together using the wood that we have. I've counted out the boards and I think we have plenty. Um, so we gotta just figure it all out and stand these up. And, should be cool. So hopefully we'll have something that looks like an office by the end of the video and some lights. So let's get working. It doesn't matter where you measure in here as long as you measure it at the same spot yep. on the other side.
I think it's going to squeeze it together. Yeah, it'll pull it together when you put the screws on both sides. I like it on one side. Sandwich fit. And if you want, you can screw a piece of wood across there that'll keep that thing all together. Across the whole mess or just now between the two of them? Just right across there. I would just mount a little slab across there to keep the two tops together. Yep, that's what I got. Oh, there's little pieces of wood out here. Just don't do it right at the top and bring it down a little bit so when we go to opening door it's pretty sweet so my dad and Steve uh, while Mike and I were away picking the last little uh, next day they were able to get this door mounted this door actually came from the Boyertown uh, antique car museum it's kind of cool uh, and it still has the little antique truck club of America stickers on it so 
we're leaving them right on. But they ended up cutting just a little bit off the door, got it to work. Again, I'll remind you for anybody that is a professional builder and is gonna talk crap on what we built. This is all built out of scrap and crap left over, so it might not be as good as your brand new development home, but it was free. So I went ahead and uh, the last thing I did was brace up everything and sandwiched. Um, I just used some of our cutoffs and again, scraps. Sandwiched everything together so we could take those little blocks of wood we had that held the panels in and everything is nice and tight now. And we're gonna be eventually putting panels over the bottom here that will cover this uh, like fabric area from it being a, um, for a cubicle. And then we'll just paint the bottom like a color. I like a lot of the old gas stations, I was looking at the photos, so usually there was a strip of color around the bottom. So we'll just pick a color, maybe red or whatever. And, do the whole bottom like that. The top, we're gonna end up putting a, a, a roof on it. And, uh, and then we're gonna put some tin over top, like tin flashing that will paint probably the same color as the bottom. And again, in the corners, I'll put like, I'll break up some stuff and uh, put that on there. So it should work out good. But all these lights, we only have four, four lights. Uh, they have six balls each, but they are pretty darn bright. It looks good. So we're gonna be adding more eventually, but for right now, Mike wired in the light switch. We now have a light switch so I can actually walk in and turn the lights on. We have powered our drop downs. We have air, et cetera, et cetera. We have sort of an office. Um, as I mentioned earlier, in the, I think in the beginning of the video, we have all that insulation and two by fours and stuff to start putting uh, stuff around the walls. So huge, huge upgrades on the shop. It's slowly coming together. Uh, we will definitely do some videos in the future um, as we do like, you know, big additions to the shop. Uh, hopefully soon we can start putting things away once I start getting some of the insulation and walls up and we can make it a little less messy in here. Right now I can't even get half the cars out because there's speed equipment and stuff packed around everything because we're just doing work. But next summer this should be all set and turnkey and be ready to use. So really excited about getting the office and the progress on the building going. So thank you guys. Let me know what you think of the new office and how the shop's shaping up. Thanks. Catch you later.